Fam, what's goody? Jordan here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use dynamic and deductive EQ to really clean your vocal before you start adding compressors and effects. That way, you don't have any problems and you have a professional vocal all from your bedroom. Let's get it. All right, so we're gonna be only using Waves plugins from here on out because this is the ultimate Waves vocal mixing series and I'm very excited. From here on out, we're only gonna be using Waves plugins because you're able to use Waves plugins on all music softwares and right now I'm in Logic Pro, but everything I'm gonna show you is able to be done on every single DAW. In the last video, I showed you how to set the auto-tune and get your beat levels right so that we get headroom. And now we're going to start with deductive EQ. So I like going to our hook or chorus, and then under the auto-tune, we're going to add the free plugin called Studio Rack, which houses the Waves plugins and makes it very simple. So we're gonna do a full reset, and what we're going to do is we're going to find F6 RTA. This is the most powerful EQ that you can find in the market. It's very, very similar to the FabFilter Pro Q3, which is over $300 plugin. This is very affordable, and it's very powerful. So you don't need the FabFilter plugin like all the pros you see. This does the exact same thing, just as good, but way more affordable. So shout out to Waves for this plugin. All right, the first thing I do with every vocal is we're gonna just solo it and just see what we got. You wasn't good enough, straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. When in my bag, I'ma run it up. I put okay, so what I like to do is cut some of the low end because this is where your bass and kick is gonna be. And you may not hear the low end in the vocal, but as you can see, look at this, down here to the left, this is where your bass is. And as you can see, there is some frequencies down here that you may not hear, but it is there. So what I like doing is you can double click on this band right here to turn it on. And then we're gonna move it over. And while it's playing, we're gonna move it over till it starts getting thin. And then we're gonna back it up till we don't hear a difference, okay? So. You wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. When in my bag, I'ma run it how up. It takes too I much? pulled a phone in the double cup. Go to the stew and I fuck it up. She bossing the ass like it's double dutch. Yeah, but you bad, you ain't bad enough. She won't be mad. You wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. When in my- And then we can move this cue, which is the steepness of how much it's cutting out. And as you can see, I can make it steeper and steeper and steeper. Let's see if that does anything to it. It wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. When in my bag, I'ma run it up. I pull the phone in the double cup. Go to the stew and I fuck it up. She bossing the ass like it's done. Okay, so that's just cleaning the vocal up a lot and you're not gonna be able to hear that, but it's going to make it clean when you perform it live or someone listens in their car or their studio monitors. This is a number one way. So deductive EQ is all about taking out frequencies to clean up the space, okay? Now I'm going to get into dynamic EQ and more deductive EQ. So let's move this up here right here. This is called a bell-shaped, and this is targeting a certain frequency. So when you right click, it's gonna solo the frequency inside this space only. So it wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like 21. So what we're going to do is we're gonna search for annoying sounds. It wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like 21. When in my bag, I'ma run it up. I put the phone in the double cup. Go to the stew and I fuck it up. So you hear that? So that's a spot where it's a problem frequency, okay? For a lot of vocals around this 380 range. So we're gonna just bring that down, right? And you can just easily bring the gain down right here. And this is called deductive EQ when we bring it down, let's say, let's say five decibels. You wasn't good enough, straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. When in my bag, I'ma run it up. I pull the phone in the double cup. Go to the stew and I fuck it. But the problem is when we take it out, it makes the vocal very thin. Well, this is where dynamic EQ comes in. So dynamic EQ is saying, okay, well, that frequency range is harsh when it reaches above a certain level. So you heard when we boosted it, it got to be annoying, okay? But how do we prevent it from happening when you're performing or you're listening in a car when the vocal's very loud and turn up max volume? Well, this is where we do dynamic EQ. So when it 
hits a certain loudness, we're gonna deduct it a little bit so that it controls it, not take it out. So when we do this, we're gonna take out all this frequencies right here, so then we're left with this space right here. Well, that's a very thin vocal. So what we're gonna do is put it around the 380 range, okay? And we're gonna move this threshold it wasn't good enough. down to a little bit below where the main blue clickers are at. It wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. When in my bag, I'm a run. Okay, that's just going to make sure that when it gets over that threshold, that it's going to reduce it a little bit and tame it, okay? And how we do that is now by just reducing the range. And you'll see this start to bounce down. We wasn't good enough, straight to the top like an uppercut Stun on my ex like I'm 21 Went in my bag, I'ma run it up I pull the phone in the double cup Go to the stew and I fuck it up She bossing the ass like it's double dutch Yeah, but you bad, you ain't bad enough She won't be mad, we wasn't good Wow, so it's not making it thin But it's just controlling that frequency So that's dynamic EQ And we can do that for all around the vocal And this is really how we're gonna get a nice clean vocal if you're enjoying this so far, make sure to smash that like button. Make sure to stay to the end because this is a nine part series. This is episode two and it's going to get very good. Let's get it. All right, so let's do the same thing. So we're gonna take this other band. Let's make the cue a little bit skinnier so we're not getting smaller frequency ranges. Okay, so we're gonna double click solo. It wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Ooh. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. Went in my bag, I'ma run it up. I pulled a four in the double cup. Go to the stew and I fuck. Okay, so right there as well. So let's bring this gain down to zero. Let's find where the threshold's at. It wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. Went in my bag, I'ma run it up. Okay, so I'm just gonna do it right there because there's a little bit of blue. I'm just gonna go a little bit under where the blue markers are. It wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. You see? And then we're gonna just bring this range down. It wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. Went in my back. Nice. Okay. Next, let's find another bad frequency. This is really search and destroying. Y'all, let's get it. It wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. Went in my bag, I'ma run it up. You hear that whistle sound? Yeah, we wanna make sure that's controlled, okay? So we're gonna bring that gain to zero, thresh, find the threshold. It wasn't good enough, straight to the top like an uppercut, stun on my ex. And when you hear that it's a little bit harsher, you can bring in a little bit more under the bar. It wasn't good enough. So you see. It wasn't good enough, straight. Yeah, I'm gonna bring it right there because it goes, it goes about right there. It wasn't good enough, straight to the top like an uppercut. Okay, we're gonna bring this down around five. It wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. Hello. I went in my bag, I'ma run it up. I pulled a four in the double cup. Go to the stew and I fuck it up. She bossing the ass like it's double dutch. Yeah, but you bad, you ain't bad enough. She won't be mad. It wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. Went in my bag, I'ma run it up. Nice, okay. Next, we can bring this cue a little bit smaller. Let's find an another Annoying frequency if there's any sometimes in vocals You're not gonna find any annoying frequencies by the way, but in a lot of us we're recording rooms in a bedroom So there is unfortunately Annoying sounds that you have to control It wasn't good enough straight to the top like an uppercut stun on my ex like I'm 21 Went in my bag I'ma run it up. I pull the phone in the double cup go to the stew and I fuck it up She bossing the ass like it's double dutch. Yeah, but you bad you ain't bad enough. She won't be mad It wasn't good enough. Yeah that whistle we're gonna bring that down Gonna control that. Okay. Alrighty. And by the way, shout out to Dexta Dior for sending in this project file. You're a super dope artist. If you guys are interested in checking out more of his music, you can check out his music link down below. Right there. Okay. So right there around the 7.3K range is where you hear a lot of hissing. And by the way, guys, this is basically what a de-esser is doing. Okay, so this is a de-esser in itself. And as you see, look at this big old peak right here in the frequency. We need to control that a little bit, okay? So we're going to zero. Let's find the threshold. It wasn't good enough. Okay, let's just put it about the halfway point because it's going a little bit above that. It wasn't good. And then the range. It wasn't good enough. Straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun 
The range I'm gonna do around negative 10 because I want it to control a little bit more because that whistle was out of control. It wasn't good enough, straight to the top like an uppercut. Wow. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. Let me show you before and after, before. It wasn't good enough, straight to the top like an uppercut. Stun on my ex like I'm 21. Went in my bag, I'ma run it up. I pull the phone in the double cup. Go to the stew and I fuck it up. She bouncing the ass like it's double dutch. Yeah, but you bad, you ain't bad enough. Wow. So. We were able to take out and tame a lot of harsh frequencies with still keeping the body in fullness of the vocal and that is why dynamic EQ and deductive EQ is so important. You're not trying to make the vocal sound any different. You're just trying to tame and control the annoying parts and take out some bad frequencies, fully cut out some bad frequencies like this under 60 hertz. That way it doesn't interfere with the bass and the kick on sound systems and we're keeping the fullness of the vocal. So in the next part of this video series, I'm gonna show you the perfect way to compress a vocal to really get it to sit on top of the beat perfectly. So if you're interested, you can check out that video right here.